On this week's episode of the Ritual Misery Podcast, we're going to talk about Bumblebee. Bumblebees? What about giants? What about garages? Um, I mean, garages are cool, but only if you can see them in the camera. But more importantly, we've got Jackie Hearn and Curtis LaRock this week. And I can see them in the camera. Hey. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 188 for Thursday, the 27th of September, 2018. This is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos. Kent's, uh, if you're watching video, he's way over there. And if you, uh, if well, nobody cares. So Kent, don't bother waving. Uh, most importantly, we, we have Jackie and Curtis uh, together in studio in New York. Oh, wow. uh, got the new digs and the old digs. And uh, by all means, how are you guys doing tonight? Not bad. Hey. Look at that little diamond, diamond love, diamond club love. I'm so jealous. <laughs> no. Aww. No. Yeah. No. Who, <laughs> Kent, Kent, who are you more jealous of? New York. I want to be here. Kent, I think New York is fine. Uh, who, who, it stinks this summer. <laughs> oh, you mean like literally? Yes. No, that's yeah. But <laughs> who are you no, more jealous of, Kent? Are you more jealous of Jackie or Curtis? I just, I, I kind of want to be the, the, the filling in the sandwich. Oh, I, I, like I want to, like I want to throw like like cross diamonds. Yeah. Like, so I'd be like right in the middle between them. That's and, you know, that's not how any. Connection. That's not how any of us took it. Yeah, I, I, I was really <laughs> of course not. Of course, excited not. to see how far um, that. Yes, welcome to the on. show, Jackie and Curtis. Uh, it's so wonderful to have you guys back, and especially at the same time. Uh, this is super cool. This is like a Diamond Club dream come true. This is uh, this is this is this, this is like South by except with Jackie. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yes, she's Jackie. always the ingredient missing For, from South by. Is, is I it? know. How do we change this? How do we get you to South by? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Fucking making uh, a solar eclipse happen. Uh, I mean. <laughs> check. Got it. Uh, that'll be a couple ah. years, but I'll go ahead and make that. I'll put that yep. in the calendar now for, uh, right, right no, around no, no, April no. 9th. It's in April 2019, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I know. Mm -hmm. South by, yeah, no, Brian is planning a big old thing. I uh, thought it was like 10 years from now. No, 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 no. It's, no, 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 this, it's, it's this April. I, and I which I don't, I don't understand. I don't think South it's this April. before. I don't think it's this April. We'll I think it's check, We'll years. have to check the astronomical calendar. We'll get yeah. back to everyone on the exact <laughs> no, date I thought it was this of fucking... the, the event in Austin. Um, Jackie, uh, you, right, recently, gives a shit you recently <laughs> moved to New York. Um, I'm sure that's been a lot of fun. Uh, what, what, what presented the move? Were you just chasing the dream of uh, doing puppeteering on Broadway? Yes. Um, well, no, I mean, I, I might, and I, I, I can't talk about my vacation. <laughs> vacation? Vacation? Is it like a Brian style vacation? No, but, 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 but I, I, I have a possibility to do some like miniature development for a thing. Um, but there's no way in fucking hell I could afford to move to New York if I didn't have relatives that just moved here. Hmm. So, I mean, what you're looking at is not my place, and shh, don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie is <laughs> squatting. <laughs> Jackie's like, no, I, no, I no, found no, a no, place no. with they electricity and air conditioning. Do a podcast. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah, no, so, but I'm here for that. And then, no, but I'm, I hope to find some in real life work. Um, no matter how big or small, mm. um, to help that transition into possibly doing some miniature animation stuff for somebody who's going to take all of my creativity and <laughs> I shouldn't say that. She's a uh, your money for it. Not to, <laughs> yeah, not to say that. Right. So she's going to be doing stop motion on Broadway. Uh, it's going to be like a nine hour play, but it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I already did some South Park, but, uh, or not South Park, Central Park. Yeah, oh South man. Park. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, and no. Curtis, you're like uh, you're like the typical New York representation in Diamond Club. 
I yes. guess. Yeah, yeah, I was all like, dude, you have I to. guess. I've yeah. been fucking nagging him to hang out with me this entire yeah. time. Yeah. There are a few there are a few of us, but yeah, I'm probably yeah. the most vocal about being a New Yorker. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think you're a very good rep- representative of the city, Curtis. Um, I, well, I mean, I don't yeah, know. I, I, he told me he, I literally yeah, he don't know anybody it. else from New York, so it could be he could be a disastrous representation of New York. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I just know that I love Curtis, so it doesn't matter because if if he's not like the other New Yorkers, then fuck them. That's where I'm right, at with it. Right. I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> God, hey, uh, are assholes. Kent, you yeah. recently uh, you you recently emptied your garage, and now um, apparently you can fit two cars in a two car garage. What's going on with that? Did you guys know this? Like a two car garage actually means that 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 you're supposed to park two cars in your garage, and you actually Does can. Really well, I found <laughs> out for sure this weekend. I finished my I... my cleaning project, my purge project. My garage is clean now. And ta-da! Two cars can fit in the garage. It's the most amazing thing ever. Uh, you can't <laughs> fit two cars in my garage. Um, you can barely fit one and, and, a, and a, a, a few toys. By toys, I mean Alaskan right. toys, like snow dr- snow blowers and, and uh, snow yep. machines is what they call them up here. Right. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty much what my garage everybody... has been over the last couple of years. It's just like a... A, a storage place that sometimes I can get a car in there and sometimes not. Uh, but now, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's the culmination of a, of a great purge project, uh, getting rid of just a bunch of crap that has been gathering over like eight moves, I think. Um, so it's great. It's wonderful. It's awesome. Amos, uh, what you got going on with uh, with security cameras? Uh, so I'm installing some security cameras. I'm actually having to like drill through walls and shit and, uh, put all these VNC cables all over the house. It's pretty cool. It's a project that I've been wanting to do all summer, um, for the last two years. So finally knocking that off my list. Um, it's pretty exciting that the stuff still works after it's sat in a box for two weeks or two years. Uh, Mm. (laughs) Um, Now, is, is this for, um... Well, th- this is, is this for uh, like prowlers and burglars or yeah, it's wildlife. Both. Well, for me, it's kind of both because we've we've had a lot of wildlife go through the yard that I've missed getting pictures or video of because either it wasn't here or whatever. Um, and then for my wife, it's more because we we live in a nicer area of Wasilla, and so it's kind of a prime target for people to go around and just try random car doors and shit like that. And uh, sometimes they try a car door and it doesn't open. But they see something that they want, so they open the door anyway. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's becoming more of an issue around here lately. So uh, the security cameras there are just for not only insurance purposes to prove that someone broke into our stuff, but also as a deterrent. Because I got the ones with the infrared lights. So, you, like, you look at my house and you can see where all the cameras are at night. Like, there's mm-hmm. no, they're not hiding. I didn't, like, they're not secretive. They're pretty obvious. Yeah. Yeah, and that's actually one of the the reasons that it was such a priority for me to get the garage cleaned out so that we can get two vehicles in the garage so we don't have to to worry about that because that's kind of a problem in in my town too and it's becoming more of a thing in my neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, People breaking into cars. We have have a two-car garage. It's actually a a one-and-a-half-car garage. Too much stuff in there to park any of the cars, and we have three cars. So there's there's (laughs) (laughs) all the cleaning in the world isn't going to stuff a uh, twenty five a Ram twenty five hundred, a Toyota Sienna, and a a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee in the same one and a half car garage. No matter how you park them, (laughs) they're not fitting. (laughs) So yeah, especially with the stairs that go from the back door down to the the garage floor, it's there's there's no way. Um, so yeah, th- those are up oh, there. I got the ones in the front of the house done. I got to, I got to do the ones in the back. What was that, Jackie? No, I was, I, I was going to say, can I interject and ask Curtis who has lived most of his life here or if not all, I don't yeah, know. Well. Um, what is it like for you to hear people talking about two car garages? I mean, <laughs> I've experienced cars in my life before. <laughs> I have cousins that live in the suburbs and, and, you, and, you, and you're familiar with Seinfeld, Seinfeld. Uh, who apparently has no, actually, an elevator. Not, not, I, I, I really care about he, Seinfeld. He, but like he has that. a garage somewhere on like 
upper uh, middle like, left. Oh, like near actually, the, not the character Seinfeld. Actually, yeah, Jerry actually Seinfeld. Jerry yeah, Seinfeld. Yeah, where where cars are delivered. Yes. Oh yeah, those are horrible. They take forever. <laughs> He doesn't yeah. mind somebody having so many cars they got to stack them up on a rotating platform. But the fact that it takes That's, forever yeah, to get it's, to get it, it's like an eight track and you only want to hear one song, you know, you're like, son of a yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, where, where's the Jag right now? Well, it's behind the Porsche. I drove the Porsche yesterday. He's like, yeah, so you got to put it all the way around. Like, I'm going to have to wait 15 <laughs> minutes for my Jag to show up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you don't have eight geez. cars to be practical about it. <laughs> This is this is why everybody well, in New York just just uh, walks or has a, a Mini Cooper, right? <laughs> so you can just put it um, in your pocket and walk away. A smart car. <laughs> I I yeah. I run when it gets dark. No. And then the <laughs> and, and the rest of the time I kind of wobble, and then try to figure out that I got if I got the right train station or not or subway is it. Because yep. everybody calls it the train, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning mm. so much about New York right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. This is this is quite informative. I'm yeah. enjoying this. And 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 Jackie, yeah. you uh, you've done some tourism while you were, since you've been there, like uh, some illusion stuff. Oh yeah. Well, that was my geek thing for the week. Um, it wasn't it wasn't the big thing I wanted to talk about, but I saw a news story that the Museum of Illusions opened in New York, and I guess they had some in Europe or something. Anyway, so I went to this fucking thing. Okay. And here's my little... I'm very thing. curious about this story because I just found out today while I was on lunch walking to work from work to get some pizza um, that this Museum of Illusions was a thing that exists because it totally... it's literally right next to the pizza shop that I went to. Oh, <laughs> and I was jealous? like, that used to just be a build it, village pizza. Oh. Uh, it used to just be a building that homeless people chilled on the steps of. <laughs> and now it's the Museum of Illusions. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess this is a thing. Uh, <laughs> so I'm very curious to hear what's going on It inside. fucking sucks. Save your money. <laughs> it fucking sucks. It's like, oh. you know, when you go online, you see a spinning thing yeah. that makes your eyes play tricks on you. Mm. That's basically fucking it. Yep. Oh, it's just like a, a gallery of optical illusions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have one room you can walk in that's called the Mirror <laughs> of Illusions or the Room of Illusion or something. But Well, well it's basically like where you see yourself like in a Justin Timberlake video forever. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know I don't want to fucking see myself. <laughs> I feel that. I, I, I feel tell you what, my, then, my favorite optical illusion... And then one of those illusion. rooms where you, like a split ends video where you can walk up and down and you're there smaller. You're, yes, yeah, yeah. And, and then who cares because I was alone like everything <laughs> else I do in my life. No. And then like there was no one to see it. So... Nor was the point. <laughs> my, my favorite, my favorite optical illusion is still the faces in the um, the the uh, the the haunted mansion in Disney. Because it's got the it's got the recessed faces, so as you're looking at them, they they look like they're following you as you yes. go through. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. They, and they, there's like a there's a gallery of like eight or ten of them in a row. Um, yes. and of they course they're all backlit with actual, you know, like, like holographic, not holographic, it's like projected faces on it. So they're talking to you yeah. and there's just enough detail for you to look. It looks like they're actually talking. That's still my favorite one. That's like, that's, that's like half the reason oh. I go to that ride. Oh right? no, the Disney is so much better than the one, the shit crap they have. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Okay. But, but, but not only that, um, since I went on the opening day, um, and within a couple hours after they opened, Reuters was there and ABC News. Mm. Um, to and like obviously they did not report on it later. They sent some for some poor shit fucking mm. correspondent out there, and they tried to interview me. And no. I was like, no, no, please, no. Please don't. <laughs> um, and also, like, in my real life, I, I, I work with museums and stuff. So, I was like, I didn't want to shit on them. And so when I talked to Reuters, you know, they said, yeah, what did, you, what did you like best about it? And I was like, what did I like best? Is that I'm about to leave and go get some pizza. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? 
Oh. But I was like, please don't, please don't include me. And they're like, okay, you know. And they were having a real hard time getting anyone to say anything because it, it was complete shit. Oh. But but well, that's enough. You should have just pulled a you should have just pulled a Bonnie and been like, well, you, you're looking at the illusions, right? And then they're like looking at you. So like it's really <laughs> kind of cool how you're just yeah. you're seeing things looking back at you. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this but is I why I don't get invited to the good parties. Way to get the diamond club symbol on television. Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could have done that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have think to go it was back actually Voipers like television news And I don't think this was ABC actual news I think it was like just A, a weird affiliate I think, Actually I think it was just a fucking weirdo <laughs> <laughs> with, with the ABC flag uh, also On an old microphone <laughs> <laughs> A little cardboard mic <laughs> right, right, right. Oh my god Holy shit Um Hey, uh, I've got a I've got a movie that you guys need to watch, and my wife and I rented it because we thought it was going to be a good kids movie. It's it's a movie called I Kill Giants, and the tagline on it is that uh, you know so and so little girl takes a takes a a, a a a version of Thor's hammer with her to school every day to make sure that she can kill any giants that that attack. And I was like, okay, okay. You, got, you got me. Like, that's, I'm, I'm down. Okay, little girl's going to take start taking Thor's hammers and shit to, like, okay, let's make that happen. Um, I was the only one in the family that liked it. It was oh. not the movie I expected. It's a movie that has a, a twist at the end that you should be able to see coming very, very early. But uh, once in a while, I get in the mood for one of these artsy movies. And this wasn't an artsy movie, but I kind of took it that way. And it was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's in... Uh, was it like in, a dark in, twist? Um, it, uh, kinda. Yeah, kinda. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, so it deals with kids, and there's nothing ultra-violent. Because um, otherwise, that, that's, that's a turnoff to me, because I have kids. But it's definitely one of those movies that, that makes you think and kind of puts you into someone else's shoes and lets you kind of see through their perspective a little bit. Um, oh. And it's really, it was, I, I thought it was a really good movie. I thought it was all the acting in it was excellent. It's a, all, it's a bunch of no names. It's a B movie. Um, but holy crap, I thought it was great. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a two thumbs up recommendation for I Kill Giants. Um, oh. Oh, right on. It's definitely worth the the buck fifty rental or buck ninety five or whatever it is at Redbox now, wherever you are. Uh definitely worth that. Uh probably not much more than that, but I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> so speaking of movies, so we've had like, I don't know, eighty six Transformers movies, I think, come out over the last, I don't know, Two decade. Days? Yeah. You know, like I, I really liked the first one, but then mm -hmm. they just kind of drop off from there. And I haven't been interested in a Transformers movie in quite some time. Okay. Uh, but the, they're making a spinoff called Bumblebee, which kind of takes us back in time to like the 80s. Mm. And the new trailer dropped for it the other night. And I was just expecting to be like, oh, just another trailer. Let me see what this is about. OK, whatever. Dude, I got super duper excited about this Bumblebee movie because it is straight up G1 Transformers from the 1980s. Bumblebee is a VW bug like he's supposed to be. There's sound wave as a fucking tape player and Ravage jumps out of his chest and there's old school shockwave and and it's just I'm mind fucking blown. If you haven't seen this trailer, today, check it today. out. It just came out a couple days is ago. Bumblebee. Sale? I am hype for Transformers movies Jewish again. Kid. Like so down. Happy I'm birth. so ready to see this. Anybody else? Um, does, that, does that have anything to do with like some like children's song about a bumblebee? Because I've been hanging out with a two-year-old a lot lately, and she keeps saying bumblebee, bumblebee, what are you? bumblebee, and I can't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's currently experiencing PTSD, so no uh, uh, post, <laughs> post kid <laughs> traumatic stress yeah. disorder. Um, I, I don't. This Here's this looks good. Oh, there it is. People I just saw lens flare. I was hoping there weren't gonna be a lens flare. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I'd have to listen to the audio on this because the one thing that really took me out of the first one and and all subsequent ones was the 
the sound of the uh, the transfer of transformers not being the planet. This criminal is like found. That war may find its way. No, like, is, ah. a, is, it a, is there anyone that can help Yeah, you? the original 1980s transformer sound is distinctively in this trailer. Oh, oh I'm okay. down then. So, I'm, so I'm in. I'm in. Also, the next movie of uh, party. Um, uh, um, they're calling an army. I mean, I've seen firsthand. These there. things yeah. really are. <laughs> there is only one way to end this war. I don't know. Uh, you, you, must you, you, you had me at original sound, people. dude. I'm done. I'm in. Take it down. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's make I it happen. Me. Hell yeah. So, much hype. This, this, I feel like it's. I mean, this is this I'm is a. This is a two and a half minute trailer, and I've only seen one lens flare. Like, this is all bonus this is how we right here. Them. This is just good stuff. <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah. Like uh, I'm more focusing on the Transformers than I'm not going the anywhere. Oh, you mean the way it's supposed to be? Yeah, exactly. I probably <laughs> yeah. like that was good. No, I'm with you, Chris. That's, that's one of the things that, that turned me off from the, uh, from the, the current crop of movies is so that they scared. focus so much on the human the humans and not the transformers and then when we do see the transformers it's hard as hell to tell who's who and then it's just i, I don't know i've always thought that if you're going to have right. a movie about humans called transformers it should be set in san francisco okay i'll admit i'm the only one that thought that was funny fuck y'all uh <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's I fine. You. I just yeah. haven't spent a lot of time in San Francisco. I've, only, uh-huh. I've been there five or six times, but You're that was better. when I lived in. Five or six times more than I've been there. Actually, yeah. I've, I've spent exactly. very little time. That's in like California. that's like three times more than Kent's been to California, let alone San Fran. Right. So that's correct. <laughs> um, Jackie, what is this Gulliver's Gate? Uh, I, I like the uh, the oh. alliteration, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Gulliver's Gate, well, that was another exhibit that I, I I went to in the last week. I think it was somewhere in fucking Times Square. Yeah. Like, Times Square, man. Why do people go there? <laughs> 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 this is Christ. It's a place to get from one place to another. No, okay. no, Alexa. No. <laughs> what? What is Alexa doing? <laughs> so... So Times Square, I'm assuming, Alexa, is just like stop. a crowded shit show of humanity. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, Gulliver's Gate was is a uh, an exhibit that is in you know somewhere in Times Square, um, but it is a huge, massive room uh, that is a miniature, and they advertised that they had a miniature of New York City that you could walk through. And as you know, I've been creating miniatures and stuff for a thing that someday people will see. Um, but uh, I, I, might, I, might, I might be, well, I'm not gonna say, I can't say. Maybe next time. Um, I'm, I'm on vacation. I'll just say that, it's vacation, right? Yeah, Is right, that a right. legitimate thing? Anyways, and um, I, I thought it was awesome and amazing and it fucking took my breath away. And as somebody who tries to do it, um, stop motion animation and um, create miniatures. Oh my God, my mind was fucking blown. And I spent hours in there trying to get visuals of every little street scene and everything and all the little hidden wow. secrets that you can find. But one of the big secrets that I didn't find that apparently is there, they have a big airport. I think it's JFK that they reconstructed mm. uh, in this large room. Um, and there's a Los Polos Hermanos <laughs> truck somewhere no. there. Uh, and I didn't fucking find it. That's funny. Mm. I just that's had to get, that's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I had to get the fuck out. So, yeah. so this yeah, is just, th- this is a, uh, a, a like large room with lots of miniature locations built into it, like little tiny ones, right? Like people, like your shoe yeah, is bigger yeah, yeah. than a building kind of thing? Yeah. I see the Taj Mahal. Um, there's the 9/11 memorial oh, site. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at some of the shit. Yeah, it's yeah. Fucking, Washington Park. It's fu- so. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, there's a Penn Station, um, and they yeah. go like through the levels of the train. The, oh. the Christ on the it, Hill in Brazil. 
Yeah, um, it's really this awesome. Seems cool. I this took really 15 awesome. billion fucking photos and I brought my selfie stick and I nice. dragged it out and put it over mm. because you can't touch things. Mm. And then some girl came up to me. She's like, you can use the selfie stick, but you have to close it. You know, mm. and, and I was like, dude, I might work for with you soon. Don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, so, oh, Jesus. yeah. So there there that was the that's been the, by far the most exciting, wonderful thing uh, aside from Central Park mm. uh, that I never experienced. And like I went to the fucking there's like right over here, there's um like some a bunch of like. Uh, waterfalls and shit. Central Park's cool. There's so much going mm. on in there that, and you're just never gonna see it all in one day, or like in weeks, or yeah. or maybe even a year. Yeah, there's just so much land and nature in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I had not known about this Gulliver's thing. Um, yeah. That sounds cool. I feel like you, you're oh, doing I all the you, fun. I told yeah, you I know you, you, you. Yeah, you, you, told, you described it to me I for a while. I went alone, like, yeah. even though I had two yeah. tickets. Yeah, oh, yeah and yeah, I would have brought so. you, but you said, <laughs> you said, uh, uh, no, I was probably working or something. I'm always working. <laughs> hey guys, I'm always Central working. Park is something right. that's always fascinating me because it's just you know New York is this giant oh. metropolis of of mm. concrete and 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 uh, metal and everything, and then right in the middle there's this like. Forest, this magical forest, yeah. it's yeah. huge, yeah. beautiful, it's, it's, and it's like that's it's, amazing. It's big enough for Fucking Garth Brooks. To, it's, it's big enough for Garth Brooks to do a concert with half a million people in attendance. Oh so, yeah, like, yeah. That's like I don't I don't know how you have a park that big in a city that big. Wait, uh, wasn't just, that the big the lawn the big lawn area? Probably. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. Where I don't, did um, Paul Paul Simon? Oh, was that in Jer- that was in Queens? Paul Simon did his last. Yeah, so that was in Queens. So that was in a, like a, oh. a stadium All right. space. Fair enough. Yeah. That's crazy. But I, I don't fucking really want to. I don't care. About New York's that. great, guys. You should come sometime. <laughs> if you would like us to come to New York, you can cruise on over to patreon.com slash ritual misery and help us out. Uh, we can do an on location at Jackie's house with uh, with Curtis and uh, we can cruise on over there and enjoy their air, air conditioning and crooked glasses. Uh, if you give a fuck, you can give a buck and make that happen. Make the dream alive at patreon.com slash ritual misery. We've been chided the last couple weeks because we keep forgetting to pimp our ritual misery or our, our Patreon. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. patreon.com slash ritual misery. Go make it happen. And uh, if we get enough, uh, enough saved up, we will go to New York and do a show live. That'd be awesome. Make yes. that shit happen for us. Patreon.com slash ritual misery. I would love that. Yep. Hey, uh, can like I've been pestering the shit out of him about how we can do some Diamond Club meetup here, and he's like, nobody, yeah. nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I never see. I almost besides Leonimus, I never see any Diamond Clubbers here. It's do, hilarious. Do you, hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. New Yorkers are also. Is, is it about time for me and to hit a button? And they're angry. <laughs> it is time, Amos. We've got a game tonight. Shit on the street and nobody Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, Kent's done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kent's game. Play with him. Play with him. Play with him. Oh, shit. We're about to play. All right, guys. I've got a game for you tonight, and it is called The Muppets Take It in the Manhattan. Oh, fuck no. oh Lord! So, so what this is? I'm actually going to I'm going to pit Amos against <laughs> the team funny. of Jackie and Curtis. I've got a list of ten quotes here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read the quote, and I'm going to ask you: Is this a quote from former New York City Mayor Ed Koch? Oh. Or is it a quote oh. from Kermit the Frog? Oh. Uh, yeah. oh, Kermit or Koch, huh? I think I might get that. Oh. Honestly. Yeah, Koch or Kermit. Koch or Kermit. <laughs> Koch or Kermit. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I um, <laughs> Jackie, I'm and, any- Jackie and Curtis, I'm going to start with you guys. Uh, we're going right. to let the guests go first this week. So your first quote is, if life were easy, it wouldn't be difficult. Is that Koch or Kermit? Kermit. Kermit. You are going with Kermit. That is correct. Yes. 
Yeah, that All was right. definitely Kermit the Frog. Um, that dumb. <laughs> Amos, your quote, mm -hmm. enjoy what you're doing or don't do it. Is that Koch or Kermit? Koch. Enjoy what you're doing or don't do it. You Koch. say Koch. Mm -hmm. Kermit would never tell correct. me not to do something. <laughs> right. Yeah, this was difficult for me to put together quotes that wouldn't automatically be like, oh, that's definitely Kermit. Like, if I put, it's it's not easy being green. Like, of course, that's Koch, right? Right. Yeah, duh. Clearly. So, <laughs> all right. Jackie and Curtis, we go over to you for your second quote. Pass the ketchup. Ignore the scoffers. Pass the ketchup. Um, um, ignore uh, the scoffers. It's going to be Koch. Yeah, that's Koch. That's got to be Koch. Mm -hmm. You are going with Koch. <laughs> that was what? actually a quote from Kermit the Frog. No way did Kermit mention ketchup. Fucking <laughs> fool. Yeah, I've I've got I've got the source document where I pulled all of these quotes where I can bring it up in in the uh, the, the the post analysis of the game. Fuck you. I all right, Amos. It. Your next one. Is okay. life's like a movie. Write your own ending. Oh, that's Kermit. Koch or Kermit? Kermit. You say Kermit. Kermit. Uh, that is correct. Sorry, Kermit. We're fine. Kermit the Frog. Oh. <laughs> All right, the score is now two to one in Amos's favor. Uh, Jackie and Curtis, this is your opportunity to tie with your next quote. Hey, y'all can y'all can y'all can tie it up two to two. Yeah. I do not believe it's good for one's self-respect to be a punching bag. Is that Koch repeat? or Kermit? You have to repeat because your audio you I, really... I do not believe it's good for one's self-respect to be a punching bag. That doesn't sound like the way Kermit speaks. Oh, no. Um, hmm. I'm feeling Koch on this yeah. one. We're going to go Koch. You say mm -hmm. Koch. <laughs> that is correct. The score is now tied. <laughs> two to two. All right, Amos, your next quote is, Tone can be as important as text. Tone can be as important as text. Is that Koch or Kermit? Koch. You are going with Koch. Is oh yeah, I just give him all the easy ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Jackie, your and Curtis's next quote is, "And beware of advice from experts, pigs, and members of parliament." Koch or Ooh. Kermit? Tricky because they mentioned pigs and that could well, totally well, be. But I mean, that's a cop thing, and and I know. Koch wouldn't refer have... to no, yeah. Because I feel yeah. No, that I feel like that's got to be Kermit. You are going yeah, with yeah. Kermit. Fuck. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> <It wasn't... laughs> the score is now tied three to three. Amos. Your next quote is, occasionally I do windows. <laughs> occasionally I do windows. <laughs> I prefer Linux. Occasionally I do windows. I'm going to go with Kermit the Frog. <laughs> you are going with Kermit the Frog. <laughs> that actually was a touch. He was talking about putting the polish on his speeches. And when he was talking about how he polishes up uh, what he has said in a speech, he added on the quip, I also occasionally do windows. All right. Score is still tied three to three. Jackie and Curtis, your final quote of the game is, everybody comes from somewhere. Everybody comes from somewhere. Is that sounds like sounds very like May Ed Edmonds or Kermit the Frog? It sounds like Kermit, but it could be be Koch. I mean, it could be Koch. I mean, it's New York. We're you uh, know land of plenty and 
Everybody comes from somewhere. Mm, yeah. uh, some re- immigrants reference then. Well, I'm, uh, I think I'm a fucking immigrant. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. know. Mm, what do you no, think? I'm not. Uh. I'd be too lucky to uh. be one. <laughs> um, <laughs> God damn it. I don't know. Oh, this is for the game. Um, what do you want to say? I'll I'm go gonna, with whatever cool. you say. I'm going to go Koch. I'm going to. Okay. All right. Koch it is. Th- Everybody comes from somewhere. Was it Mayor Ed Koch? It was. That one's a trap. That one's a trap. It was. (laughs) Amos, your final quote of the game to tie. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Kermit. You are going to say Kermit. That was, in fact, Kermit right. the Frog. Why we had a tie game so many four to four. Songs about rainbows and what's on the other side. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Exactly. We're gonna spread out here. No, I mean it's the Rainbow Connection. You know, when, Jackie, when when I found out that you're gonna come on the show, I decided to make a game. <laughs> About that has something to do with puppets and no, something to do with to, you. Don't have to, it's fine. I'm just saying that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that could come to my mind that had both of those themes together was the movie The Muppets Take Manhattan. And I struggled for the last couple of days trying to come up with exactly what this quiz was going to be. And this is what I came up with on my drive home from work tonight. You, uh, no, this was very good. It was good. good. It was fun. I enjoyed that. That I, was I very good. It. Yeah. Well played. Excellent. Excellent. Um, Congratulations, so Amos. That was a lot of fun. If you guys have an idea for a game, uh, be it a quiz or some other uh, style of game, um, hit us up. Uh, seriously, podcast at, at ritualmisery.com. Uh, shoot us an email over there. We are quite likely to use any ideas that you send our way. Uh, Curtis, what have you been up to, man? Uh, the last time that we spoke at length was at South by Southwest way back in March. And we occasionally talk on Discord, but what have you been up to that uh, would be of interest to the community? Uh, most recently, um, Dragon Con, I guess, <laughs> which was a blast. Okay. Um, did oh, you? That's probably the most. Did you get a chance to hang out with Jury Facts during Dragon Con? Yeah, for like two seconds. Um, <laughs> that, that's all he was there for, was though. All the time he was in town for. <laughs> well, he yeah. was there. It was yeah. crazy. So, like, he found out very late that it was the the last like night oh, attack at right. Dragon and, Con, yeah. and he was like, "All right, I'm gonna fly in for the show," and I'm like, "Seriously, seriously," and he did it. And then he disappeared right after the show. And I was very sad. But it was great to see him. Because he had to drive home. <laughs> yeah, he, he spent uh, like eight times the amount of time on the road as he did actually at the place. I was impressed. I was very impressed that he pulled it off. Yeah, Kent would wow. never do something like that. 12-hour drive for a one-hour show, he would never do it. That's some shit I would have done when I was twenty, oh. not when I'm forty. <laughs> the 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 only the only time I ever went to Dragon Con, I only t- attended to go for um, a live recording of a Night Attack album back when they were NSFW, mm, yes. and they had the NSFW show on Saturday, and I left and I didn't. So I've never attended any NSFW Night Attack show. Ever. Yeah, because you didn't make it to the. What was the LA show, right? No, no, oh. no. And um, and then, but but also, I went to South by in 2014, and it wasn't. It was a night attack party with Veronica, Tom, and um, and and you know, I don't know who are the other two bozos, um, <laughs> J- Justin and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were there apparently. I guess. Yeah. And, and oh oh and possum posse uh, and oh and tay allen yeah 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 uh, but but it wasn't a show you know i mean it was a night like a live show yeah yeah the live shows are always fun 
Uh, I mean, yeah. they're only fun if you're there. <laughs> you know? They are definitely right. more fun if you're there. But but when you're watching them on the internet, it kind of sucks. Because you're not there. Because you're not <laughs> fucking there. Yeah. Right. And that. it's like, I don't want to watch this. God damn it. Yeah. You know? Yep. I'm, I'm sorry. I said it. It's out there. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm usually listening Love anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I, I miss yeah, half the you know, show because there's no visuals. Because I, on my drive home today, I was actually listening to the uh, Night Attack live show from L.A. that mm. they did earlier this mm-hmm. year. And yeah, I, I'm actually, this is one of the live shows that I'm I really enjoying listening to the like, audio I for didn't. it. Uh, because they're, they're telling their stories about their like first experiences with the Internet. And Anthony Carboni's there, and Tom's there, and Andrew Maine. Oh, and uh, it's it's like, incredibly entertaining. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I'm really bad at listening to podcasts after the fact to like that yeah. I miss. Like, if so I, like if it's not live. But that sounds like a good one to catch back <laughs> catch up on. But but yeah. it's a lot. But okay, yeah. I mean not not if it's live, but like for me, if if I watch your podcast when it's live and you're broadcasting live then I love you. No. But if I watch your fucking podcast later in the week, like after it's over and I just download it, then I really fucking love yeah. you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because yeah, no, it's that. just so hard. It really is. It really is. Yeah. Anyways. Well, thank you, Jackie, for downloading all of our shows. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I do, actually, because you're my fucking iTunes thing. It, it, it always comes up on my phone. So, so, so she downloads it, but only because she hasn't figured out how to stop the downloads. Got it. No, that's that's fully understandable. <laughs> it somehow got I mean, into an automatic the numbers. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, yeah. She's like, I I came for the guest spot. I stay because I'm too lazy to take it off my phone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you guys. You know it. Um, so, uh, what, what, so, Jackie, of all the things that you've seen in New York since you've been there, what is the least impressive and the most impressive? <laughs> well, the most impressive is sitting right here. <laughs> Not true. Um, oh. The least impressive, the least impressive is that um, I I just can't understand why no matter what the temperature is, like you know, I was here when it was really high, it's really like actually very comfortable in the Upper West Side um, for some reason because they blast air conditioning out of massive buildings. But you walk over here on the other side of the park or anything a little bit north. And nobody's fucking picking up the trash and doing shit. <laughs> and they fucking tow cars like, you know, it's like a circus or something going on. And, you know, it, it, so I, I, I don't I don't I don't like the inconsistency in, in Manhattan and the way they treat certain areas of Manhattan or even other boroughs, you know, mm. in the whole picture of the, the large metropolitan area. Um, so that that to me is what. I like the least. No, have you um, have you gotten used to the different boroughs' names? So when people say I'm from Chelsea or I'm from, you know, over oh, over here and over there, oh, like, those are those are not boroughs; those are neighborhoods. Yeah, they're <laughs> neighborhoods, and and I'm getting to know a lot more of them. Yeah, that's the second time I've said that this week, by the way, because somebody was I was watching somebody stream Spider Man. You should and have less confusing that game takes shit place in New York. Entirely in Manhattan. Yeah. yeah, and they were yeah. like, "Oh, I'm gonna go right. to this borough," and I'm like, "Not boroughs. You haven't left the single right, borough." Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I'm that guy. <laughs> well, I mean, it's but well, I mean, actually, I, I like I feel like when people understand it a little bit more, then maybe they they'll p- come fucking pick up the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the window here. Yes. I got to say, uh, listening to Hamilton, it mentions a couple of spots in uh, in New York, and the only reason I knew where what they were even possibly thinking about was from playing The Division. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're like, oh, yeah, this, place, this spot over here. And I was like, oh, oh, I killed some terrorists there digitally one time. Yeah. Hey, so, Curtis, have you played the <laughs> Spider-Man PS4 game? I have not played it myself. I don't have a PS4, but I have watched a lot of gameplay on Twitch. Um, it's pretty gorgeous, and 
they get a lot of areas of New York pretty right. They shrink down a lot of things mm. just, I guess, to make the game a reasonable size. Um, mm-hmm. But it's pretty good. It's pretty cool looking. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what I was most curious about because it looks realistic as hell to me. And from what I know of the layout of the city from looking at maps and things, yeah. like, wow, that looks pretty right. But I'm curious what a native yeah. New Yorker would say. That's actually always it's, what I'm thinking when I'm playing The Division is, like, how accurate are these street names in, the in, in like, you know, uh, the neighborhoods uh, in relation to each other? And it's it's yeah. one, of those, one of those things, like, it's, it's a huge undertaking to digitize any city, but then... To do it in Manhattan exactly. is insane, you know, for, yeah, for exactly. any scale and of game. So, like, take, taking that into consideration, like, you can tell they, like, scaled back certain things. They shrunk down a few things, and they don't get too granular with, like, street names and stuff. Mm. But e- even with all that, it's still, like, pretty darn good. It's it's It's... It's just so nice to watch them swing through the city. And you're like, I know that neighborhood. I know that place. Aww. It's my home. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I was wondering, because if, if you had played the game yourself, I was wondering if you purposely tried to find your house. I would. If, yeah, if I, if, if I get my hands on it, I'm definitely going to do that. Though they heavily shrink down Upper Manhattan, everything above Central Park. Um, so Harlem, Washington Heights, and what yeah. is all just like smushed. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so well, I, I'm, I'm sure I, the, I'm I wouldn't. I'm sure but. the division is the Wait, same what? way. Like you can't run from oh, Madison Square awesome. Garden to uh, to the to the, the the bay in like three minutes, like you can in the game. So, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it, but, but it's still uh, like never having been there. Like if they did one for LA, I would be a little bit more comfortable with identifying spots because I've, I've been there quite a few times you know grew up out just outside LA and things and they're never going to do a game you know, you know what Kent if we ever design a game we're doing Oxford to scale oh let's do it dude yeah that's like on that that palm that palm OS game yeah. um, Kyle's quest mm-hmm. do you remember that mm-hmm yeah, and we, we had that R- RPG that we made on there that was yep. basically like Oxford but not quite to scale <laughs> yeah <laughs> Because there were, I think there, it was pretty accurate. There weren't enough the scale. <laughs> yeah, there, there weren't enough slots because Oxford is one and a half miles wide by one mile tall. That's the entire area right. of our hometown. Um, wow. Yeah. So, like, if we if we drew it to scale, it'd still take as, as long to get from Madison Square Garden to, say, you know, <laughs> the the, right. <laughs> the bay. It just it, it, that, that'd be all the game there was. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh man. Um, Hey, I've got a couple of things to plug like real quick before we move to the next thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I be, before I forget, I want to let everyone know that this Saturday, uh, which for the uh, people listening to this after we're live, uh, is the 29th of September. Um, the ne- is the next Diamond Club movie party where we're gonna watch Laser Blast and Black Roses, and mm. I'm sure you've never heard of these movies, but look them up. It's going to be a blast for all the information about how to log on to watch the diamond club movie party and be a part of it. Just go over to movieparty.net and you can get all of your information there. So check it out. The other thing that I want to talk about is this is episode 188 of the ritual misery podcast, which means Jesus we are getting Christ. very close. <laughs> Sorry. We are getting very close to the final countdown to episode 200 of the show. 200. What we would love for everyone to do mm. is think about what you have enjoyed about the show from the past, whether it's favorite guests, favorite moments, uh, uh, moments of, of like, oh, my God, look at these idiots still in beta. Um <laughs> Whatever it is that you think about when you think of our show, if you could write to us, podcast at ritualmisery.com, and just let us know. Or just say, like, um, you know, every Jackie Hearn episode is awesome. That would be very No, awesome. no, exactly. no. Every out. Jackie Hearn and Curtis <laughs> LaRock episode should be number one. All the one of them. <laughs> All of them. things. Like, let us know what your favorites are. Uh, podcast at ritualmisery.com. Uh, we're going to try to put together uh, some sort of a retrospective, uh, l- kind of like a best of type show. 
to celebrate the 200th episode. So um, help us out with that. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, so much. Curtis, where can people find you on the Internet if they think this guy is super rad and I want to know everything that he's got going on? Um, oh, that's creepy. Um, uh, <laughs> Welcome to the Internet. To find- it's creepy. <laughs> that I'm mean, fair. Um, best place to find me is probably Twitter. Um, I am at Curtis Lock. I found you in Broadway the other yeah. day. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> See, exactly. Uh, either Twitter, I'm occasionally on Instagram, but I don't post there a lot. Um, I have a Facebook, but don't look for me on Facebook. Um, Twitter is the best place. <clears throat> yeah, right on, that's Curtis at Curtis LaRock. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Jackie, what sort of things do you have to plug? What do you got coming up? And uh, where can people find all about those things on the internet? Jesus Christ of Latter-day... I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I just said it again. No, I... Um, uh, you can find me at JackieHearn81 on Twitter. Uh, I might... Um, might I might have something very soon... I say that every time on anybody's podcast. And it never <laughs> right. happens. Things are always in the works, and yeah. they will That's arrive right. when yeah. they arrive. They will Everything arrive when they arrive. has all sorts of uh, uh, coals in the fire, so yeah. Uh, and at Jackie Hearn 81 is where I um, say things, and people don't give a shit, and I feel awkward and embarrassed about. Same. <laughs> well, but I'm mine. <laughs> 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 All right. Wow. If, if anyone's interested in seeing the shit show that is my Twitter, head over to rm underscore del noche. That's rm underscore del noche. I'm pretty much del noche or del noche seventy seven anywhere on the internet. So just check me out. Amos, what about you, dude? At Ethan Kane, I got a lot of coals in the fire right now too. I got a lot of projects in the works and a lot of new stuff coming out. So um, big doings in the world of, uh, of Ethan Kane. So you can find me on Twitter at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E. And of course, you can find the show on Twitter at Ritual Misery. Um, one of either me or Kent will reply, probably with our personal accounts, because we continually post our personal stuff to the Ritual Misery account because <laughs> the Twitter client is stupid. And you can submit ideas to our subreddit at ritualmisery.reddit.com. You can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. We are live every Thursday, well, almost every Thursday, at around 7 p.m. Pacific <laughs> at diamondclub.tv and twitch.com slash ritualmisery. Hey, uh, I want to give a really good uh, uh, thank you to Mr. Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use his music. Um, which should be there it is and um thank you for listening and or watching for kent for jackie for curtis for me and for you this has been your ritual misery podcast see ya You have enjoyed this program. R I T U A L M I S C O Y.